G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and for today's video I'll be taking you through the server-side JavaScript get and set cookie functions in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So the server-side JavaScript set cookie and get cookie functions do exactly what it sounds like they should do. They allow you to get and set cookies using server-side JavaScript on your cloud pages. So I'll start off on the documentation page under the programmatic languages I'm here under server-side JavaScript, we just scroll down through our syntax guide, down, down, down into our platform functions, into our client browser functions, and we'll find our set cookie function. I'm going to jump over the warning labels here when it comes to your consent for your first party cookies. We're just doing some testing today, but I do recommend that before you put this into production, you check out the local laws regarding your first and third party cookies. We're scrolling down to our syntax and our set cookie function has four ordinals the cookie's name and its value, as well as the date and time that cookie should expire on your client's browser, and where the cookie should only be used with the HTTPS protocol. So as always, the best way to try this for ourselves is to copy it into Marketing Cloud and try it out. Now for today, I have set up a cloud page already called my cookie page. It's simply going to be a cloud page with a content block by ID function, which will reference a content block I've got in Content Builder. This allows me to build this out really quickly. So I have my test block here and my page ready to go with test block. I can simply refresh it and go test block one, save my content block, then go back and refresh my cloud page. And I should see my brand new text and I do, perfect. So to start with, let's jump back into our documentation and we'll copy our example syntax. So we've got here a server-side JavaScript block with the function within. Let's copy that code jump onto our content block and paste it straight in. So this function should create a cookie called cookie name with a value of cookie value, but the expiry date is a little while ago. So let's bring that forward a little bit, just like that. Let's save our cloud page and see what happens. I'm gonna jump into my test page here, but before I press refresh, I'm gonna right click in Chrome and use the inspect command. By choosing inspect, it brings up my Chrome console here. I'm going to navigate across to my application tab. Under this tab, I want to find my cookies. I can see here under my cookies, this is the current site that I'm on. So with that page selected, I'm now going to refresh my cloud page and watch to see what happens in my cookie section here. So press F5 and hopefully, yes, there we go. A brand new cookie has appeared, our cookie name with cookie value. You can see the expiry date here is not quite 2025, but is a long way in the future. What I can do now though is go back into my content and I can change my cookie name to something else. So perhaps it's cookie cam. And I'll make the value also cam. For that I'll go save and then refresh my page once more and this should create a brand new cookie this time called cookie cam with the value of cam and it does. So I can really easily set cookies on my cloud page using server-side JavaScript to define the cookie name and value. Okay, so we can set a cookie's value using server-side JavaScript on our cloud page. What about getting that value back from our client's browser and bringing it back onto that cloud page for more calculations? We can do that by leaving our client browser function section here and scrolling down into our HTTP property functions. If we extend that menu group, we'll find our get cookie value function. You can open that one up and you can see straight away it's a much simpler function to run. With just one ordinal, all we're doing this time is getting the value or the name of the cookie to return. And quite simply, it's a platform request to get that cookie's value. And which cookie? Well, cookie name's value. So to do this, we can copy this code and jump back onto our content block. We can try that for ourselves. Let's make some space. We'll put it down below. We'll also comment out our original set cookie function as we'll no longer want to set that cookie again but we do want to get the correct name for our cookie. So to set the variable of cookie as the get cookie value of what cookie name? Well, cookie cam. So I'll copy that name and paste it there. Let's get the value of cookie cam. Once that's done, we then want to write out that value. To do so, I'll use my platform response write. So go platform.response.write. That's going to write out the value of a parameter that I give it. So it will print out cookie just like that. And hopefully now I'll go and save my cloud page. We'll jump back onto our production page here. Now before I press refresh, the value of the cookie cam cookie is set to cam. 
So once I press F5, we should see the value of cam printed out on the top of my page. So we'll try it out by going F5, and we do, great. The great thing about using Chrome for this too is we can modify our cookie values. So to make sure this is all working, I can also go back down to my value here and type in cam test. Save that cookie by pressing enter. And now when I refresh again, it should print out cam test. So we've now set our cookie and retrieved that value as well. And that's a quick walkthrough of how to use the server-side JavaScript get and set cookies in your cloud pages in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. I hope you enjoyed this quick run through of the SSJS function. And if you have, please let me know in the comments below with a big thumbs up on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.